Just one month ago, I was living in my parents' house in Sydney, Australia. And now, I moved all the way here to Thailand. In this video, I'm gonna explain how much better my life is here in Thailand. And I'm gonna tell you guys how I went from spending $30 for food in Sydney, Australia, to now only spending $2.50 here in Thailand. Hey, my name is Joshua. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why I left Australia to move to Thailand. So if you're interested in more videos about me traveling around Thailand and Asia, as a mixed slash Eurasian person, be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss anything that I upload. A big reason why I actually came out here was the cost of living in Thailand compared to Sydney, Australia. In Sydney, Australia, to rent almost anywhere, the average rent is about $700 per week. That's right, per week, not per month, per week, which is just crazy compared to Thailand where $700 can actually get you a month in a condo or a hotel, any kind of short-term accommodation, and it can even get cheaper than that per month. We're talking Bangkok, Chiang Mai, wherever you want to go. Like right now, I'm out here in Chiang Mai, beautiful Chiang Mai, just have a look. And I can easily get accommodation just for $600 per month. That's what I'm paying. So yeah, I think that's definitely a big contributing factor. And also, I always wanted to try living out of my own. I wanted to try living out of my parents' house for once in my life. I love them. My parents are awesome and everything like that. But I just wanted to try experiencing life just completely on my own. And to do that in Sydney, Australia is definitely on the difficult side. It's not easy. So having the opportunity to stay in a place for only about 600 Australian is absolutely spectacular and has given me the opportunity to live by myself. So that's awesome that Thailand has provided me with this luxury. Back in Sydney, Australia, I love eating Thai food. So it's no big surprise that in Thailand, Thai food is even better. And what's better than food costing almost like five times less the price out here in Thailand. So I'm feeling pretty hungry right now. Let's get some Thai food. Alrighty, so we just headed to Central Mall. Central Festival Mall and I only had um, 50, 50 baht so 50 baht was just enough it's about like two dollars and fifty cents and what you can get with it it's pretty decent pad thai this was about 50 baht so pretty damn good yeah, this is what you can expect I definitely recommend going to a food park or go to like and usually inside most um, Thai malls you can find a place where you just go up to a counter and you put in your you get this card, you give them 100 baht and they give you a 100 baht voucher card that you can use around to any of these um, stores in the, the food park. That's what it's called in Central Festival. But depending on the mall you go to, it will have a different name. But these parks always have like the cheapest food. Most of the food here is not Western, so don't expect like a cheeseburger or something. But expect to get like nice Thai food made by like a nice little family running the store. And yeah, you can expect pretty good prices here. About $2.50 to about maybe $5 max, $7 max. So definitely eat here. So we made it back home. I am just wanted to tell you guys that Western food here in Thailand is just as expensive in Western countries, just like Australia. Especially beef products, expect to be paying over like $10, over $20 for single pieces of meals. But I actually found a place called Mark Burgers, which does a burger for less than $5 and a steak and chips on the side for $4, which is insane. It just goes to show that if you're willing to shop around for a little bit, you can actually find the prices and the food that you're looking for. It only took me a quick Google Maps search and I was able to find the place. So that's a little tip for you guys. Be sure to keep an eye out for cheap food. So in Thailand, you're really spoiled for choice with what you want to do and all the activities you're available to do thanks to the prices of entry into those activities being so low. My favorites were definitely going to Mekupong Village and staying in an amazing Japanese style hotel, which you can watch the video here. And we also went to the infamous, the very famous Monjam, where you get scenic views of the mountains and you can do glamping there for the same price as a regular hotel, which is about a thousand baht, $40, which is just insane. An experience like glamping over here in Chiang Mai, Thailand would cost $500, thousands of dollars 
in Sydney, Australia, which the difference in prices is just insane. There's also tons of cafes here in Chiang Mai. And if cafes aren't your thing and you're more into shopping malls and things like that, Bangkok, Thailand is incredible for that because there's shopping malls literally everywhere in the main city and you're able to take the BTS train station to all of them. Chiang Mai is not much of a shopping mall place. We only literally have Maya shopping mall and Central Festival mall, which is two big shopping malls and that's it. But we got a bunch of like nice cafes and cool scenery of the mountains here in Chiang Mai. So before I go on to the transportation part of this video, and let me tell you, the transportation here in Thailand is insanely cheap compared to Western countries. I just wanted to let you know that I've just launched the Thailand Solo Living Community, which is a place where people who want to travel to Thailand and or are currently living in Thailand, where they can get help with anything they're struggling with, from visas, accommodation, flights, and any fears or problems that you might have that is preventing you from living your best life in Thailand or taking the leap and traveling to Thailand. So be sure to visit the link in the description down below as we are doing an 80% off discount for the first 10 people who join with the link below. Thanks guys. Transportation out here in Thailand is amazing. If you're in Bangkok, Thailand, you can take the BTS train, grab cars, the app using, you can travel around using the Bolt app for really relatively cheap by taking a Bolt car or even riding on the back of a motorcycle for half the price usually. Out here in Chiang Mai, it's even better where you can rent out a motorcycle and travel all around Chiang Mai really nice and easily, which the motorcycle rentals are quite relatively cheap for what you get. And you can go sightseeing and do all those kind of things. So I definitely recommend getting a motorcycle if you're in Chiang Mai. There's also some taxis and tuk-tuks if you're more um, extroverted and you can talk to those guys and try to haggle a price try to get the price down from them because you know they can be pretty good as well there's also some really cheap buses you can take which can take you into the mountains of chiang mai and things like that so that's another option for you but for me i usually just do the bolt app because it's quite seamless the driver comes to you and yeah the fare the price of the ride is already there and you know what you're going to be paying so this section of the video is the people the community and how safe is it? So I think there's a lot of negative propaganda, especially in Australia and Western countries that say, Thailand's a scary place. There's a fuck ton of lady boys and you're gonna get harassed and you're going to die out here in Thailand because you know it's way too hot and all these things that I have to say is completely false. Yes, there are some bad people, just like any country where there's crazy people, but out here in Thailand, there's just so many nice people People are minding their own business. They see their life as like a community, as helping each other. They trust you. They don't think they're gonna steal from you. In Western countries, everyone thinks you're trying to take something from them or steal from them. Out here in Thailand, I can leave my luggage somewhere and they will like happily hold it for me. I can like not pay yet. I can pay at the end of the transaction. I can pay later usually out here in Thailand. and. Sometimes I feel a bit weird, like, I haven't paid you yet. I, like, I could run away right now and I don't need to pay, but they trust, they just have this trust, they, this innate trust, which is something you don't really see in Australia or Western countries, which is amazing to see out here in Thailand. So don't believe the negative propaganda out in the Western countries. Come out here for one week, come out here for one month, see what it is, report back to your family, tell them if it's good or bad. Most likely, you're gonna love it. And ladies, if you're scared of like going out at night, make sure to stay in like just more um, city areas in Chiang Mai or Bangkok and you'll be completely fine. Just don't go around like the slum areas. Just like don't go in the alleyways. Just avoid those. Stay in the main streets, main roads and you'll be fine. This is a really safe place. And if I can tell you what's the most dangerous part of Thailand, it's probably riding a motorcycle in the main parts, maybe like Bangkok or the busy parts of Chiang Mai, that can be the most dangerous. And I actually crashed my motorcycle in the dirt roads of um, Chiang Mai in Monjam, in the mountains, because it's like a dirt track and 
So you could watch the crash video over here if you want. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're now looking to either visit Thailand or come live here. If you need any help living in Thailand or traveling to Thailand, be sure to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and I'll solve any problems or any fears that you have. And be sure to join our brand new Living Alone in Thailand community in the link below if you haven't already. And also be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. And as always, stay strong. Let's go, my